Hi, my name is Dr. Pecoraro. I'm a chiropractor in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. And today I wanted to speak about something that seems to upset non-Catholics and Catholics alike. And uh, this is at usually at funerals and weddings, Catholic funerals and weddings, and there are non-Catholics uh, attending. And it comes time for communion, and at many churches, the priest will say something like, uh, if you're not Catholic, uh, we prefer that you don't come to communion uh, since you're not really connected with the church. Or they might say something like, uh, come up and put your fingers over your mouth and I'll give you a blessing. And they're trying, uh, they're really trying to do it the best way they know how. So I wanted to explain about why they may be doing this. See, in the Catholic Church, we believe that not only is the communion host changed into Jesus' body, blood, soul, and divinity, in other words, it actually is him as a man and as God, so we, we ourselves won't even go to communion unless we're free of mortal sins. And if you're not Catholic, you probably don't have any idea or a very limited idea as to what a mortal sin may be. I know most Protestants don't usually distinguish between mortal and venial sins, they just say sins. And even in the beginning of the church, of the Catholic Church, the catechumens, which were the non non-baptized people that were studying to be Catholics, they left the church uh, before the communion service, part of the service began. So it's not like we're, it's not like they're trying to do something to you that we're not doing to ourselves anyway. If you could think of this as an analogy, it would be like, let's say if uh, you went to a an ethnic thing and it was for another country but it was in the United States. These were people who descended uh, were descendants from another country and they had a pledge of allegiance to their country's flag. Uh, you're not likely to want to even want to participate in this and they wouldn't ask you to and it wouldn't even make sense to because you're not in union with them and their flag and their country. Just like in the Catholic Church, you're not in union with the Catholic Church and what they believe about this, uh, their communion. And it's, it's very sacred to them. So if you no, think that it's just as sacred, why would you even want to be involved? Um, try to give you another example. Let's say you're a father and you bring your daughter to the Girl Scouts and they say the Girl Scout uh, pledge, whatever it is, I don't, I don't know what it is, but they say, you know, uh, uh, somewhere in there they probably say something like you to be a good Girl Scout. You wouldn't say it. If you were a mother and you brought your son to a Boy Scout thing, you wouldn't say the pledge when they said the pledge, and you wouldn't think anything of it. You wouldn't expect to, you wouldn't want to, they wouldn't expect you to. And if you can try to think of it as the similar kind of thing, uh, this is what they're trying to do. They're not trying to be nasty to you. I mean, if you're a Protestant, you don't even believe in the Catholic communion usually, and why would you want to receive it? <laughs> you know, it's it, it just doesn't makes sense to me. So I hope this gave you a little bit better understanding of to why this is done and uh, maybe you could seek out more information about it and uh, not be 
so distressed about it, whether you're Catholic or non-Catholic. So I hope the information's been helpful to you, and I'll try to bring you more information at another time. Thanks.